G'day, uh, this is my entry into the One Watt Challenge. Uh, I thought, well, what useful things can you do with the watts worth a lot? And I thought, well, let's start up the smallest room in the house. And this is particularly useful for me because I have a six-year-old child who needs the toilet light left on at night so they can find their way in. This is just perfect. So there, up there we have my breadboard with 53 LEDs in it. And they're being driven from a 555 timer. I'm actually running them directly on the output of the 555 timer at 6.3 volts, we'll call that, 6.29 volts. And I am drawing 157 milliamps. And here it is, here's the output on the scope. So I've got a duty cycle of just over 60% and a frequency of 14.63 kilohertz. So those little LEDs up there are flashing 14,630 times a second. And the light's quite, quite usable. I'm surprised. I've got a lumen meter down here, or a lux meter on the floor. Right down on the floor it's giving me three lux. Which is actually enough to read this textbook. Quite clearly. I can read that from with my head far enough away that the print becomes too small to read. I can even just barely read this electronics catalogue with ridiculously small print. I think read stuff on the floor and from the toilet paper. Let's take a seat. Look at that. Even right out of the door. Very readable. Let's check the lux meter. So that's a bit over a metre away, 1.2 metres. That's about a metre away. We're getting nearly 50 lux at a metre. And that's pretty consistent around the room. Now it's not quite what I was intending. I was actually hoping to use a transistor of some sort to have a really short on cycle and a low duty cycle, around 2 microseconds on time, but I couldn't get a transistor that reacted fast enough. So I've ended up doing this and I do have um, two potentiometers here to control my duty cycle. So I can actually lengthen the on time, the off time, sorry, and it does dim things down. And it does draw a lot less current when I do that. And 46 milliamps there. And I can also turn it up a lot brighter. So we're just cracking on about 160 milliamps. And 6 volts works out to be a watt. So we're just seeing that now. I'll turn that back on again. Uh, so we can see my duty cycle is now at 77, 79%. Very short off duration. The LEDs will start to warm up when I do that. Not a huge improvement in lumens, a little bit. Extra two lux down there. Let's just max it out. Oh. And now we're using 200 milliamps, which is about as much as I want to put through the poor little 555 timer in there, because it's going to start getting hot. And I have checked the LEDs with a K probe, and they're running at room temperature. There's not even one degree Celsius of difference. When it was running at the 160 milliamps range. Um, my 555 timer runs at about 10 degrees Celsius above room temperature. So room temperature is currently about 25C and the 555 was getting up to 35C. So there we have it. You can get quite a lot of light out of even just cheap nasty LEDs. These LEDs I get 
in bags of 500 off eBay for like 10 or 15 dollars from China. They're really cheap and nasty. I think they're C grades. They're not the brightest LEDs you can get. They're far from it. They're rated at 20,000 milli candle bra. 20,000 MCD, which works out to be about 20 lumens, roughly. They don't really produce that much, though, I don't think, unless you overdrive them. So there you have it. That is my entry into the One Watt Challenge. Thanks for watching.